welcome to another studio vlog. If the camera looks different to usual, that's because I forgot my vlogging camera. And I can't believe it, I had loads planned for today. I'm also full of colds, again. I literally have just got over a cold. There's just tons of colds going around. It's not COVID, I did do a test, um, luckily, but I just feel like poo poo wee wee. It's also a really gloomy, cozy day today. Today, I basically wanted to start working on some new products in preparation for a shop update. I've got a few stickers that I need to send off because it's been the bank holiday weekend so there was no point finishing where I left off in the last studio vlog ordering them because I wouldn't have got the order so the first thing I'm going to do and the priority is to get those stickers <coughs> sent off and in this vlog I also want to create some new mugs, some new mouse mats and some new coasters as well with some new designs but I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I've just finished sending off for a bunch of new stickers, uh, die cuts so they're all sent off we have had these heart shaped mouse mats in stock for ages and I haven't done anything with them but I think they're really cute. I think a cute little face on this would look adorable as well but I need to create a template so I'm actually going to head over to this computer where the printers are and I'm going to scan it in and get a template from it. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably print out a sample or I'll get Dean to print out a sample uh, to make sure the template works and then we'll be good to go. Scan, open scanner. So basically this will just load the shape of the mouse mat. I'll then put that into Photoshop and crop around it and I'll show you what I do. And I've done that for basically all of my designs and stuff that I've needed to use sublimation things for. Some manufacturers even supply like a template, um, but this one hasn't got a template. So, uh, oh, it's saying fail to open connection, Dean. There we go. Now I will basically put this into Photoshop and I'll use this as my template. I'll measure the width and open a file exactly the width and then every time I print it off it should fit perfectly. Also a little sidetrack but can I just say look how cute my planner spread looks for this week. So I sat down early and planned my week. Look how cute it looks. I use my confetti, my week of golds, and some bon bon and bumblebutt stickers, and some pastel witch stickers. So just me, or does that look adorable? It makes me so happy looking at my planner when it looks really pretty. I don't know why, it just makes me so happy. I use this tool over here, and then I just trace around the image here like this and then on a new layer select the inverse and fill it in so that you can see the template of the mouse mat and um, so when i'm designing it i'll see the template so i'll get rid of this and say let's just for example sake use pink here i can use the template to see the mouse and i can use this to see what the mouse is going to look like I created this hat mouse mat but i don't know if it's creepy looking <laughs> <laughs> with some massive eyes. I think I need to keep designing. Okay, I've cute, uh, created this cute little face. That's an example of it. I think it'll just really pop from the desk, like it'll stand out, uh, like the bold colour. So I'm going to experiment. I'm going to print it out and experiment with it, see what it turns out like. I was feeling like really ill and I have just been super shook because I watched Anastasia, you know, the dancing birds, painted wings, Anastasia, to make myself feel better. Dean and Mike don't even know what it is. Like, have they been living under a rock? Is it such a weird cartoon not to know what it is? Do you guys know what it is? What the hell? I thought everyone knew this, just like a Disney film. I know it's not Disney, I think Disney bought it, but let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I can't believe it, Mike. I'm actually disappointed in your character disposition right now. <laughs> like a real pop of colour to your desk. 
What do you guys think? I still love this one though. I'm still gonna have this one. But look how nice that is. I love it. I wonder if I should offer different faces and maybe different colours as well. at myself in the viewfinder. Oh, I've got the roller shutter on the way through high, let me turn you down. Ooh. Um, I've never, I've got a scabby nose as well, so excuse me, because I've got a cold. I've had a bob before, you guys might have seen on the channel, like I've had short hair before, but never ever like this length. Uh, it's not like properly styled or anything yet. Oh, I don't know what I feel about it. It's crazy seeing myself. Anyway, hello guys. A uh, little bit of a procrastination session there. Yesterday, I basically sat down at my computer and created a bunch of new mouse mats and mugs and coasters. So today, on the agenda, we're gonna turn on the presses and we're gonna do some test prints uh, ready for the stickers coming and then getting it all ready for a big shop launch. I also want to send off for some notepads and some bookmarks, but they won't come in this shop launch. It'll probably be in a few weeks time because uh, it's been a long time since I stopped the bookmarks um, And updated the designs and I really need to get to work on that So let's get the presses on and experiment with these mugs and mouse mats. I also feel so free <laughs> It's so sweet, it's so short. I actually can't believe it <laughs> mouse mats and um, they look super super cute but there is some other ones that I actually need to print out again uh, because I didn't have the rectangle uh, shape right it was too small for the mouse mat design but this is what they look like so far they look so so nice please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and um, I actually think I'm going to remove the text on this one here um, to just be the suitcase with ears I think I'll keep it Oh, I don't know. I don't think it fits in the circle shape. I think the text froze off. So I think the circle designs will have no text on, but I think I'll do a rectangle version if you like to take me to the magic on a rectangle one because I think it will work with the balance. I don't know. It just seems a little off. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It just seems a little off, but everything's looking super, super pretty. I printed this wrong because there's a tear, but 
this is what they look like i think the heart ones look so good because they just really pop on your desk like that i absolutely love it and the little lashes as well so i've done different color variations because i know people have different desk um aesthetics we've got lilac green blue and of course pink i really like this gingy and spice one as well that's really cute then we've got the classic three uh, flower images so the tulip the celestial one and then the bluebells we've got wanderlust one here as well uh, so yeah it's looking pretty cute and then i've got some square ones to come out but i haven't measured them right anyway now i'm actually going to get my sketchbook out because in my planner i actually had a plan to create some new coaster and mouse map packaging so um the option to buy the coaster and mouse mat is on the store so if it travels to like america or a country where you want the water protection you can have that um option on it however i want to get into wholesale and i feel like coasters and mouse mats without the packaging isn't very professional now the wholesaler will get a chance that's if i sell them i'm saying it like i'm gonna sell them <laughs> gonna sell them but i'm putting it out into the world manifesting it and um, basically i feel like it's a little unprofessional without the packaging on it and the branding well i used to do like a backing card and i would slot it in because the cellos we use we try whenever we can to get compostable cellos and i'm going to do an experiment with it but i'm going to get my sketchbook out and sketch out some ideas because the mouse mats fitting sideways to a4 uh, but you can't do it lengthways. I don't know. I just feel like that's what I want to work towards. Also, things like conventions and stuff, I feel like packaging really, really helps protect it when it's getting moved and shipped because we really want to do more in-person events in the next um, year or two. We want to get back into conventions. Now, I'm super busy this year, so it's probably not going to be anytime soon, but hopefully in the winter we should have our first convention. Or if not, definitely next year. I definitely want to do like the MCM Comic Cons as well well like london birmingham manchester newcastle do those type of things so and i feel like packaging really really works well at conventions as well not only does it look really really pretty on your stand when you've got all your branding on your products it also protects them which is the most important thing during the kind of moving unpacking process and also most importantly when people are touching your products as well oftentimes like people pick it up and they'll look at it like this when it's in protection it's obviously not going to stain or damage the mouse mat or courses for someone else whereas if i just had them like this out on the side and um, they could get damaged in transit or you know get dirty and grubby and you don't want that so i am bringing packaging back it also looks really nice especially if you're giving it as a gift i personally think it looks a lot nicer if i was going to order from a store i think it would look a lot nicer than just giving them like this wrapped up i would like like the whole branding on it and yeah stuff like that so i have on my planner i'm just looking down on it sticker packaging shipping labels mouse mat packaging and coaster packaging because i'm also going to do packaging for die cut stickers now i'm actually not going to give this option in my etsy shop i don't think i am just going to put die cut stickers in with everything else but this is purely for wholesale um reasons also at conventions i'm probably not going to put the die cut stickers in separately uh, but i think it does look nice for wholesale rather than just having a, a sticker like out does that make sense so i'm gonna get my sketchbook out i think i'm just gonna use this bullet journal i'm gonna sketch out some ideas also oh, my nose is so scabby i can't believe it instagram how can i help you today i would love to that's it come on i did warn you twice i'm surprised this camera is still alive Okay, so this is 
the design. It's basically what I had exactly before. Can anyone remember um, my coaster designs? But I'm just going to do a basic, like, oh, by the way, check my nails. Hee <laughs> so cute. I'm going to do a basic uh, colour backdrop, like pink. And then the name's going to say courses. It's going to have the catnip logo. It's going to have catnip.com underneath here when you remove the products. But what I thought would be a good idea, and these are all going to kind of match. And I've decided to do a variety of different colours uh, just to complement whatever coaster or mouse mat we are putting in because we actually make our mouse mats to order. Uh, but I thought what would be cute is a little cute hidden quote or message when you take the product out um, so that you can cut this out and stick it on your wall and kind of encourage using that image. And I think I might do... Uh, the background like double-sided before I just used to print it myself here But I think I might just get a batch of these actually professionally printed But I thought it would be super super cute to have like a little hidden quote or message um, Underneath it like you're great. You're amazing. You're doing great or something So I might make a few little cute quotes and with the different color varieties Put the different quotes on them that way it just encourages people to maybe use that backing card uh back in paper yeah i think that'll look really nice so i'm going to design that on the computer and then i'm going to do a test print and then we have to leave in about an hour and a half because we're doing like a family get together in the garden and doing a fire pit so yeah i find it really handy when i've got an idea to sketch it down i don't know why uh, just to get it and then i go into my computer and i, I do it all on my computer it's a really simple design uh, but looking at it i can now visualize what it's actually going to look like it's basically the same design that i used to do literally back in like 2017. Okay, so this is my design so far. This is going to be the back of the mouse mat because I thought people might keep this because it's super cute and use it as a little art print. They can even chop around it if they want and keep it. This is for the mouse mats and the front looks like this. So the mouse mat will be blocking like this um, so you won't see it. But when you take it off, you'll get this little message on the front here. I don't know whether to keep that on because if I've done it on the back, then... I don't know, it's like a little mini art print on the back. It looks really, really cute. So, uh, yeah, it's just to encourage keeping this bit of paper because I know a lot of you guys keep, like, the stickers and stuff. Uh, so this is the idea for that. And I'm going to do different colours. So I think I'm going to do pink, uh, bluey purple, and a green one as well. These are the back designs. We've got a pink one. Grow through what you go through. Then we've got a green one. You can do great things. And then we've got a blue one. You're braces and you think. And it's just really cute, I think. Uh, really cute illustrations. I'm going to do a test print of these now and make sure the mouse mats fit because I want to see if that needs to be smaller at the top or whether it'll be an okay size. Okay, this is the card. That's the back. I've just printed it on two things because I don't have a duplex printing. That's what the back looks like. I just need to sell off. So this is what they'll look like for the better seller. There's the front. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It looks super cute. Ignore these cellos. I absolutely hate them. They're too, they're like this loosey material. I don't know if you can see, but these, uh, we had a real trouble trying to find compostable ones in A4. Um, so this is it. This is what the three uh, colors look like. I don't know whether to do a lilac one or not. Mm, yeah, I might do a purple one as well, but this is the pink the green and the blue. It looks really, really cute with contrasting colours. I don't know whether to just do pink, to be honest. I don't know. Oh, is it nice? I suppose when we do get into conventions and stuff, though, and if wholesalers do get different varieties, it will look really pretty on the shelves in loads of different colours. Like, it looks really, really, like, eye-catching. And then the back just looks like this. So it has, like, a little uh, note on the back. So super happy with how they turned out obviously when i'm packaging orders if you select packaging and um, they'll stay like that but in the shelves they may drop a little bit so it'll be more like that so then that feels like it needs to go down there unless i put a glue dot underneath i don't know if that would bother people though like you know to keep it like this like a little glue dot so that's what it's going to look like and i'm basically going to do that exact same design to the coasters 
and the die cut stickers. I think they're really cute. What do you think, Dean? Do you like them? Mm. We've seen them. So I think I'm going to do that, but for now we're actually finished for the day. So I'm going to finish that off tomorrow, then I'm going to send them off. They should only take a few days to arrive, they'll probably arrive by next week. And then we're good to go with the new packaging. I also would really, really like to design a um, new mug um, box packaging. So I was thinking a cute like sticker. Uh, what else? Hmm. Oh, new actual packaging for like shipping products and stuff. I really want to do that. So I want to get like um, like a sticker rather than sellotape uh, that says like Happy Mail or you know something like that. Uh, but we'll design that tomorrow, shall we? <laughs> 